guys thank you for watching i probably wrote a little rumble at all about to eat my mango <laughs> hey youtube welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here welcome to the crazy family and if you're already being here get to the part of la familia that means you already know you're part of the family today's video i'm so excited i'm gonna be trying a new foundation it's by those of colors for those who don't know me you guys know for those who know me you guys know i love those of colors like one of my favorite brands um of makeup and anything the skincare foundation concealer setting powders sign me up because i want to know like anything that's gonna better my complexion make me look bomb give it to me right now why not this moment um they just came out with their foundations that is called meet your hue i don't know what hue means so insert definition down there um it has to be something nice like meet your match your perfect something right that's what it has to be so basically it's medium to full coverage foundation the skin tones that they have, they have fair, light, light, medium, medium tan, dark, and deep. And everything has like their section. And I love it. They literally cover everybody. <sighs> Let's see if they cover me. You guys know I am a weird shade and it's just really hard to match me. I found three right here that we're just going to see what's up. And I'm going to swatch them to show you guys. And basically this foundation, let me see what the foundation Basically, a 42 shades, high pigment, matte finish, buildable, lightweight, and long wear. So, we're going to the uh, Dust of Color pop-up shop even to celebrate the foundation. So, this is the perfect time to wear this. So, let's get to it. I'm going to do a wear test. I'm not going to do a full tutorial. I'm just going to put it on how it goes on with concealer set. And then after that, I'll be back to tell you guys how it looks like. So, yeah, let me stop rumbling and let's get started. I'm going to start with my Ultra Repair Barrier Cream that I freaking love. Look, running low. <laughs> I love this stuff and like if you guys see the thing it's like you guys see the texture it's like marshmallow situation is so different you have to go try it in the store okay so i let it sit on my skin for like a minute or so so just my skin soak it all in and then i move on to primer i'm gonna be using the new um not new it's by smith and cole glow bright i just tried this in my last video if you guys haven't checked it out go check it out right now and put the link down below um i love how this felt on the skin so i'm gonna be using this primer All right, so we have primer, moisturizer, all the good stuff. I'm gonna follow the same routine that I do when I do my makeup, so I'm still gonna correct. I grab my corrector by MAC. You guys already know what sound was popping with this baby. I'm grabbing a sponge for this. Okay, so we are moisturized, prime, and correctation. Ready to go. Now it's time to find our match. So I went with um, 127. 129 and 130 um we're just gonna see i'm gonna go ahead and put in next in the middle the color that i normally use in foundation so this one right here it's me that's my tone let me lift up a little so you guys can see okay so this one right here is normally my color so i'm gonna go around it to try to get the best match 127 127 is a little too light i know for sure but i just wanted to see it that's a little too late. Now I'm gonna be grabbing 130. I feel like this is it, or close to it. Yeah, I think 130. That's my color! Okay, wait a minute. It does look a little darker, but because I always like extra highlight, it works. So let me just try one, is it 127? 129, the last one, and I feel like I am, I am between those colors. So this is 129, 129. So here we are. So the middle one, this is my color, my regular foundation. This is 130, 129, and 127. For sure, I am 130, but I'm gonna put a tiny dot of this one in there because I feel like that one is gonna be a little, like a tint darker. Um, and I did try 131, I believe, or 132, the one that comes after. And it was very um, dark. You know what, let me get it right now, hold on. So I wanna show you guys 131, um, to sh just show you guys, because it is um, darker. To match me is one of the hardest things. Even me, I I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on? The weird tone over here. This is me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little mix, but I'm feeling like this is gonna be it. But then sometimes in my face, like believe it or not, when I take pictures and I look like a ghost, it's look like ashy tone. So we're just gonna go with this too. I'm gonna do, we're gonna figure out 129 and 130. 
won the bottle and that's the one we're gonna go with let's get started they also came out with a sponge that I am in love with. It's so soft. I wet her. She's amazing. I love that she's like bouncy and skinny on top for the concealer. So I am loving that. Um, but what do you call it? Sponge. So hopefully it becomes one of my favorites. All right, here we go. The mixture game. Here we go. So 129. That's it. I did a f only one full pump. And then 130. I'm just going to do half a pump. Let's mix this baby up and we're gonna wish for the best. Yeah, that's my color. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I normally do when I try a foundation, half of the face first, and we're just gonna see what kind of coverage it give us and all that good stuff. I don't know why I even dotted with my finger because I'm gonna go with the booty. I'm gonna, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's my perfect match. So those two, 130 and 129 is my color. Oh, 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 uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay. I love the sponge. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I love the sponge. Did we just find a favorite sponge? Uh-oh. Hello, how are you, Anna? Um, yeah, I think we found her. This is it. Wow, wow. No foundation. Foundation. Do I have lagañas on my eyes? I do. Look, I hate when I have like eye burgers. Let me take that out. Let me take that out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little more. So right now it feels very light in the face. It doesn't feel heavy and I love that. Um, but yeah, this is no foundation and foundation and she's looking cute, okay? Let's finish the rest of the day. She's perfect. Perfect, so in total I did two pumps of 129 and one pump of 130. And this is the result. It still feels lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like, ugh, capable. So when they say breathable, totally like that. Um, and she looks cute. She looks beautiful. Let me take the eye burger so I can come close. Why the hell I have eye burgers right now? What is going on? Look a little closer. Oh, hi, new foundation. She's cute, and I like her a lot. Not mad, not mad, and hella hyped and excited because you guys know how I am when I find new foundation. I found a good ones. The one from Smith and Colt yesterday, that was perfect for just your light days when you don't want to have makeup on like hella. That was amazing. This one is like, I want to see how it works out though. That's where it will be. Right now we're good. 10 out of 10, boom, boom, you got it. But we're gonna see how it wears out and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so now we're gonna move into a uh, concealer. Grabbing my deep by Tarte. You guys already know what's up. Business, business. A little bit of that to conceal. Okay, so that's with the concealer. The concealer blended on top of it, perfect. Because you guys know, I like I always say with foundations and stuff like that, some products don't work with it, and it breaks with the foundation and all that happens. But here, we Gucci. No break, nice, a show, no, 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 that. My tongue twisting just got to another level. Sometimes I feel like I need to stop talking. I talk way too much lately. Like, okay, 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 look, I'm talking right now. Shut the hell up, shut the hell up. I'm excited, that's why. Okay, so for a highlightation, I'm gonna grab Rich Ginger by Ju A. I have a new one that I bought, but I don't have no idea where it is. So I'm trying to milk this one out. Into there's no more. But this one right here is on my favorite concealers right now. For snatchiness. I'm just making you a highlighter to life. Just, hmm. All right. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Tarte Tan Deep Sand. And just go here on top. I know, you guys, I cake my face. It's a cake con situation today. I wanna look snatch. I wanna look very, like, simple on the bottom. So I want my face to be snatch. You know, like, ooh, she's beat, but not beat beat. I know for some of you guys this is like beep beep, but this is like a beep for me. All right, so I already blend my chin, blend the lip, 
I'm just blending everything out to see how it goes. I'm praying and hoping it doesn't lift the foundation or nothing like that. Let's see. Nope, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. All right, I'm gonna blend these eyes. Look how that blended on top of this foundation, you guys. You guys. <gasps> okay, I'm in love. Okay, grabbing Canufa by Huda. You guys already know the routine. I'm gonna go ahead and set up this concealer on the bottom. Make sure you put it in your wrist first. Don't go straight with the powder because it's too much. And we're just setting. We're not cooking. Setting so nothing moves. Ooh, okay. Nothing moved, nothing left. It looks flawless and I'm not mad. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything out off camera and I'm gonna come back with a, I don't know what I'm gonna do, with a face on um, to tell you guys what I think. And then, yeah. I love it so far. We good, we good. Okay, so we are back. I did a beat face, not a beat beat. I was gonna wear lashes and stuff when I'm running late and I love this kind of makeup. So I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna seal it with my Insta recall. Invisible powder setting spray. I love this stuff. This is by Smith and Colt. I just used it in my last video, like my primer. Um, this is my first time trying their products a few days ago, and I was like, people don't talk about this brand. But yeah, I'm gonna put this on. This is my sealer. It makes you look like more flawless. Oh, I love this. So we're gonna do this work test to see how it goes. And I will be checked back to tell you guys how this goes. Right now is 6.34. We should see. Right now it's a 10. This is gorgeous. See you guys in a bit. And we are back. This face, let me get a little close up. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this face. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this face. Boom, boom, boom. It looks beautiful. It didn't crack or nothing. Normally, when it just starts cracking around here, it didn't. It did have texture, but that's just a regular face. We all have texture. That's normal. <laughs> Sometimes we get so into like face tune faces that when we see real faces, it's like, oh, you have pores? You have laugh lines? Like your makeup creases a little? Yes, it's a normal thing. You wear makeup, it's gonna crease. No matter what it is, okay? Even it affects me sometimes. The face tune situation affects me. I'm not even gonna lie. But it's been six hours since I had this makeup on. Right now is um, 12.08. So I finished putting my foundation on like at 5.40 or something. So yeah, like six hours. And I'm not mad about it. It's literally a 10 out of 10. The only thing though, I do have to mix colors. But I came to the conclusion that that's just my life. Okay, and some people get it, some people don't. And a lot of times when they get my color, I don't like the texture of the foundation. So it's like, it's a hit or a miss. And when I do my concussions, my foundation it always looks beautiful. So my color is 129 and 130. So if I wanna get the coverage that I have now, two pumps of 129, one pump of 130. If you want less coverage, you lose do less than that. But I love them. I found a new member of the family. So the of color, meet your hue. <laughs> I met her, two of them. The spongy, I love it. I love it a lot. You know, sometimes I look at sponges and I'm like, oh, here we go, got another sponge. New favorite, I like it, I like it a lot. So I have to give it a 10, you know, six hours. I did have a little meltdown over there because it was, um, it's a pop-up shop they had that they have in Beverly Hills. The matter of fact, I'm gonna be having a meet and greet on Saturday that I'm so nervous about, oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you guys at the end all the information. But um, it was a lot of influencers there, so it got hot. It was so much love. You know, we were showing love to Anna for, you know, coming out with something amazing and um, supporting her. So it was just a lot of people. So I did, I did have a little sweat down moment that I was like, I gotta go outside, I gotta go outside. And I started getting sweaty, but my foundation didn't move. And that's how I know when it's a good foundation because let me tell you, I, I have anxiety and I sweat a lot. That's just what happens. Um, and a lot of foundations that I have tried, they break. But I have a few that don't break. And this one right here, don't freaking break. Like, we Gucci. And she fits so perfect, even though I have to make soup, but it's okay. <laughs> the total of the foundation, the value of the foundation is $36. That's not that bad, because I spent $50 on my on my NARS. Yeah, NARS is like $54 or something like that. Um, 
Um, so that would be plus two, 60 bucks, you know, but it's bomb. I recommend it. I and it does exactly what it says. Like, it's like a matte foundation, but when your oils kicked in, it's like, ooh, there's like a little glow in there, but not too greasy. So I love that. That's my type of foundation. I can't do do it all the way because then give me an hour and I'm a mess. <laughs> The only way I do those is when it's like daytime makeup and I want to go for a dewy look and just you know, look natural, natural. That's when I do that. But when I have events and stuff like that, I like my makeup staying put and I'm glad that I'm able to add this into the family because for me, it's really hard to find foundations. Like the, my favorite ones right now has to be this one, those of color, the one from yesterday that I tried Smith and Cold. I love it. But this one right here is more when you want skin. This is not for full, full coverage. So I love that like for my light days, then I have my tart shade tip as a foundation that I don't leave, that I mix a little with NARS and it's like the perfect concussion. That's like my go-to's right now. So I'm really happy to find another one that I could add and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look bomb in the, you know, when I go to events and take pictures, like it looks good. So yeah, I recommend it. It's beautiful. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. And going back on my meet and greet, here's all information where I'm gonna be at on Saturday. I'm very nervous, but I told myself that this year I was gonna step out out of my comfort zone and do stuff that I wouldn't normally do. So if you are in the LA area and you're free on Saturday, I would love to meet you. Um, I'm gonna be scared though, I'm gonna be a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and probably start sweating, but just bear with me. But I would love to just give you guys like a hug and like finally meet you guys because I don't do meet and greets. Like I said, I always be like scared, but I was like this year, we stepping out of the comfort zone and doing it. So if you're in the LA area, I would love to see you guys' pretty face. So with that being said, thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Um, thank you so much for the feedback on my video, on my weight loss. I'm glad that I was able to inspire a lot of you guys. I know it takes a lot, but when you want something, you go for it. Let me tell you, when you're fed up, you go for it. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Like I said, comment below and let me know what you guys think of the foundation. And get your foundation. Don't play, because this is bomb. I love you all. I said that like five times. Anyways. I'm talking too much. It's time to bed. Goodbye. Besitos. <laughs>